everyone thank you for taking out time uh, to listen to our story so i will i am sameer agrawal and i have been associated with mr bunsel since last 15 years and guiding him on various financial matters and other uh, strategic matters uh, so can you next slide please so uh, as you have already seen the global market of process piping solutions uh, that is growing at at the rate of 4.8% right now it is 39.2 billion and uh, uh, it will have a capacity to increase by 54.5 million internationally next please <coughs> so at present in in india the process piping solution market is uh, at 25400 crores but at the same time i would also like to uh, tell uh, that government of india very recently has announced 80 gigawatts of thermal energy uh, power stations so that figure is not included so uh, i presume that this figure will increase from 25400 to 35000 uh, crores maybe next please <coughs> these are our key investment highlights as you all know we are the largest player in india in the process piping solution domain in terms of installed capacity we are one of the leading players in terms of uh, competence across the globe uh, we we do business in the domain which has significant entry barriers and uh, we have a wide range of products uh, which gives uh, our customers an um, uh, immense amount of comfort to uh, get the services from the developments and we have a long lasting relationship with our customers uh, and we work on a uh, strategy that we we always say ki we uh, make every customer a repeat customer so in the legacy of 35 years the company has never ever lost any significant customer in the history and uh, as mr bensel is a great technocrat and he is always always instrumental in bringing a good amount of technology to the kitty of the organization along with his team and we have a dedicated team of professionals each and every function of the company is being headed by the respective profession having respective experiences in the particular domain and uh, as we have already mentioned the attrition rate in our organization is much lower than that of an industry standard so uh, so we always work on the philosophy of decentralized system again can you oh next so as far as the overall capacity of the organization is concerned uh, in case of process piping solutions as on uh, 31st december the company is having 44000 metric tons of capacity in case of process piping solutions and uh, in india and 14500 uh, tons of capacity at thailand uh, post 31st december the company has also introduced uh, two new facilities one is at nomali uh, which is being uh, created <coughs> just to cater the north eastern sector of the country and uh, later on maybe to the uh, export to bangladesh and uh, vietnam region and uh, the 
new facility which which is upcoming at Gujarat, which is very near to the port. Uh, on uh, 30th April, we have started its first phase of uh, operations uh, with an annual installed capacity of 3,000 metric ton, and very soon we are expecting to in, uh, operate the second phase of uh, operations as well. Please. And we have a uh, we have a heavy fabrication facility in which we have a total capacity of 36,000 metric tons, uh, where we are manufacturing the wind turbine towers. Next, please. So we have got all sorts of competence and uh, machines to do the engineering, manufacturing. These are some. Uh, a customer relationship so you can see that almost with all the customers who are being listed here we have been in the relationship for, uh, for more than a decade our order book as on 31st December is 828 crores and many more to come next please So this slide uh, describe our global uh, customers. So we are supplying material in Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Thailand, Malaysia, China, Japan, USA, Canada, everywhere. Next piece. So as far as the uh, the methodology of the company uh, working on the uh, the philosophy that when whenever it gets an opportunity we go for a adequate amount of uh, capital expenditure to grab the opportunity and, uh, to keep in line we are expanding our capacities by bringing a new facility at Gujarat Anjar region next please this is our board uh, Headed by Mr. Bunser, we have uh, three uh, whole time directors and three independent directors. All three independent directors are having good amount of experience. Next please. So this is the key management and senior management professional team. Next please. So these are the financial numbers, uh, whatever numbers being appeared here are uh, uh, by and large impacted by the COVID period uh, in 2021 and 22. So in uh, 2022, we did a revenue of 490, 460 crores revenue from operations which has increased to 595 crores in uh, 2023 fiscal and in nine months ended December 23 we have already achieved a top line of 545 crores so we are expanding in terms of our top line and uh, we have been uh, earning an EBITDA margin of 10.84%, 14% 11.62% uh, uh, from fiscal 21 to 23 and for 9 months ended we have earned at a beta margin of 12.45% next please so again uh, the strategies of the organization is very very clear just to leverage on uh, new technologies, uh, new types, uh, which can bring more margins to the organization and uh, bringing in lot of amount of automation wherever it is possible. And these are again the summary of uh, what we have discussed till now. So thank you so very much and uh, now I would request each one of you to start question and answers session.